Hey guys, welcome back. This video is gonna be so fun. I've been waiting so long to be able to do it. <sighs> Let me get situated. So as you can tell by the title, this is the 12 taco challenge. I saw Jojo do it a while back and I've been wanting to do it. I just haven't been able to, but today, oh, I got my tray. I've never used this tray before. Hopefully it works for me. My steering wheel is like kind of different though. How do I tighten it so it doesn't all fall? Do you tighten it? I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't collapse on me. Okay. I saw JoJo do this. Okay. Don't mind my appearance. You know how it is. Okay. JoJo always lays her seat back too. Like that would probably work out better because you can sit up and make your food. I'm sweating. I'm still in like pajamas, so pay no attention to that. Sometimes I just have to run out of the house. Because if it's known that I'm leaving, then someone leaves before I get a chance to. So I stopped at Starbucks and got some beverages. Well, I'm treating myself today. I have, yeah. I have a Coke Zero. I have this new drink that I'm obsessed with that Adri's friend told me about. It's a caramel crunch cream frappuccino. So it does not taste like coffee. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's melting because I had to go across town. There's a Taco Bell right beside Starbucks, but it's not my favorite one. This is so good. Mm. All right, don't get full. So I got that, and I got a large pink drink. I got a large water. Okay. I don't want to be like, I'm literally in pajama tank up there's a car right beside me so maybe they're a worker I don't know so the lady she did it like in a 12 pack to give me like a bit of a discount so it is 117 I've not eaten anything yet today so I'm starving and I'm stressed so I'm gonna be I'm starving I'm stressed and I'm sad so it's a perfect time to do this challenge and now Jojo she did it the smart way she got three crunchy tacos, three soft tacos with beef, and then she got three crunchy tacos with chicken and three soft tacos with chicken. Um, so all of them, my total was $23.19 because they charged to substitute chicken for the beef. But it's okay. I just had to figure out what's what. But it's a perfect way to do it because then you kind of switch it up a little bit. So she's got, they have three of those. Are you gonna be able to see my food? I have the freaking tray. Oh wait, do I usually set you down here? I don't know if that's gonna stay. Hold on. Let's get situated here. My shifter is in the way. Is it always? Is it always there? Oh, I can't do that. I don't know. I do eating videos in my car often. Anyway, so let's see. These. Don't say anything on them. So there's those three. These. This says chicken. This says chicken. So they wrote all my tacos. So I know what's what. That's the third chicken. Oh okay, we have regular crunchy, chicken soft. Is this chicken crunchy? I don't know. My screen all said still beef, but she said that her screen said chicken, and my receipt says chicken. So we got tacos for days. I'm so excited. So let's see, that should be regular soft. So put one of those up here. We'll put the chicken in there. These don't say chicken, but we'll take one of these out. They probably have them all together. Okay. Let's just get started. I usually get sour cream on my tacos. Let's see, that's beef. Is this chicken? Please be chicken. Or else. It is. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. It's okay, it's in my sweatshirt. Everything. All right. I usually get sour cream, but we're not doing that today because that would be even more extra.
Starting off with the beef. Mm. I haven't had Taco Bell in their parking lot in so long. So good. So I wanted the nachos and cheese, but I'm like, no, because that'll fill me up more. Mm. It's funny because people ask me all the time. I mean, I weigh 500 pounds. I don't eat like this all the time, guys. Like most of us, I eat like a normal person. All right. Now what should we do? Chicken crunchy and then do soft now and then we'll do a beef soft. Beef soft taco. You cannot see. This is so good. <clears throat> now, when I watch this video, When JoJo did it, I'm like, oh my god, I could totally smash 12 tacos. Now that's in real life. There's no way. Said, and I'm hungry and stressed and sad. Not like sad. All right, one beef, crunchy, and one beef soft. That's so good. All right, now. Let's have a chicken crunchy taco, which I don't know if I've ever had. I ordered one the last time I got Taco Bell, and for some reason they gave me a steak. They gave me a crunchy taco with steak. It was good too, but For some reason, I was thinking it was going to be shredded chicken. But. <clears throat> that's probably because when I go to the Mexican restaurant. When I get chicken tacos, they're crunchy tacos with shredded chicken.
I feel like these have zero flavor. They don't have any flavor. The chicken doesn't. Wait, isn't their chicken seasoned with anything? So weird. chicken power bowls they have flavor but they have a bunch of other stuff in them same with like chicken quesadillas as far as just chicken in here need sauce. Those are kind of dry too. And I'm warm. So. I'm great. There's some milk down here. I'm eating. Because I'm going to put some <coughs> mild sauce on my chicken soft taco. It's like lunchtime on a Friday. Yeah. These chicken tacos have no flavor. I can't do gristle. Can't do it. About takes my appetite. All right. If you eat chicken tacos, like, do you think they have flavor? Just a piece of plain chicken. It tastes like nothing. None of this will go to waste. When I don't eat, I'll take home. <clears throat> to my kids. I was going to talk about something that happened, but 
I don't know. If you watch my channel, then you know Jay's been off work for like literally like two months. He hasn't worked since May 4th and today is June 23rd. <laughs> he was cleared to go back to work Monday. He has said he hates it there. He can't do it. He wasn't born. Tuesday came. Same thing. Wednesday came. <clears throat> Wednesday came and his work called him and told him. Okay, you know, you were cleared to go back to work. You just called in the last two nights. So basically, you can either quit or you're fired. So I quit. So that's why I'm stressed the F out. I'm gonna get a job on third shift. He was supposed to go back to work and work his four days and then I would work on the other three that he doesn't work. I just need a third shift job. Like a few days a week is all I need. I see something with insurance so I can go to the eye doctor. So I go to the dentist, like I need insurance. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I need insurance. <coughs> I need an income. And here when school starts back up, Jackson should, well, hopefully he gets accepted into preschool. There weren't any spots when I register him, but they said spots open during the summer. So hopefully he has a spot. So he'll go to preschool for three hours, four days a week. <clears throat> so I can come home, get the kids off to school, still um, take a couple hour nap. If I work during the week, I'm not on the weekend, <clears throat> it'll be fine. So I've been waiting, waiting for him to get back to work to see what if he was going to be on that same shift or if he was trying to get a different job with his buddy but they never even called him so anyway so that's why i'm stressed like literally he quit <coughs> after not working for two months so in that same day that night we were sitting outside and just completely out of nowhere i was sitting on the front porch <coughs> <coughs> dang and adrian out of nowhere she's like mom <coughs> and went down the wrong pipe or what she's like mom when grandpa randy died she's like i was so mad at you she's like nobody told me anything all day um <clears throat> she's like and dad wouldn't, wouldn't tell me and grampy wouldn't tell me so i had to wait till nighttime and then a reminder that i was out of town with my son at children, nationwide children's hospital because he was getting an mri and like going over stuff with his brain um <clears throat> we were actually in with the neurosurgeon that when my mom got the call that my dad had a massive heart attack as the day went on, things kept changing. <coughs> and then he wasn't doing it on our two hour drive home. <coughs> oh my gosh. Um, like shortly after I got back to my mom's house, cause that's where my car was. Cause I drove there and then my mom drove us to Columbus. When I got back, shortly after I got back to my mom's house to get my car, um, they got the call that my dad had passed away. So. I got in my car and I drove home and I told my kids in person. So like I didn't wait all day to tell her like just things were happening throughout the day. And Jay and my stepdad felt like it was my place to tell them, you know, what was going on. But then by the time I got home from out of town, he had passed away. So I told her, it's so like a reminder, I wasn't home um, to tell you. I went to tell you in person. He didn't die until like right before I got home. <clears throat> that was Wednesday night. As of yesterday, nobody other than Jay's parents knew that he quit his job. Like nobody even knows now. And nobody knew what um, Adrian had said, other than us, because we were outside. So it's like this was anything that was known. And I get a message. I'm going to cry again. This is, explains my eyes because I cried like so many times last night. 
I get a message from a friend of mine last night that's also my dad's friend. All right, Angie, get it together. And this is what it said. It said, <clears throat> your dad came into my dreams last night and you were there with me in my dream. He sees your struggles and wants you to know that everything will be okay. Also, he wants you to know that he has been watching Adri. He loves her and he is okay. <clears throat> so when she sent me this, like I got the biggest lump in my throat and like not in my stomach, like, oh my God. Nobody even knows the things that had happened like in that previous 24 hours, like nobody. And she also texted me and said, um, three days ago, my printer label at work started printing Adri's name, like six of them, just poof out of nowhere. I shit you not, my patient saw it and, and I quickly got on the phone to tell my husband what had happened. I said right out loud, that's not funny, Randy, stop it, because that was my dad's name. <clears throat> and then she played it kind of freaked me out my co-workers like who the hell is she talking to so I messaged her back and told her what was going on and that that was so crazy that that was what her dream was so I told Adri last night like I kept thinking about it last time like oh my god I'm like it's crazy because I'm so stressed out and Adri was just talking about my dad <clears throat> the night before I guess I told Adri and she instantly started sobbing like it was just like I told her, I said, see, I said, it's nice to have guardian angels. I said, he really is watching over us. <clears throat> so I kept crying last night. Just I was trying to do other things. And I just kept thinking about like, that is so crazy. And you know, my dad, he says, everything's going to be okay. So yeah, tomorrow is motorcycle races, which I went with my dad to those for like the last 20 years and then last year was my first time going um without my dad and nobody could go jay was working my sister didn't want to go my brother had already had plans so I went by myself and it was like i'm glad i went and i saw people that i never, hadn't seen in a while other than like at the races <clears throat> and that was great and all but i walked around and spent the whole day just so sad and like so empty and lost and it's like, i kind of want to go tomorrow but i don't want to feel the way that i felt at this last year so I don't know I don't know I haven't decided what I'm gonna do like when she messaged me that yesterday at like five o'clock and then just completely know what I haven't talked to her in a long time it was just completely out of nowhere <clears throat> it was just like oh my god like it's just crazy okay so I've had four tacos there's four in the box and there's four on my tray the beef, I definitely prefer those over the chicken. It was nice to switch it up so you're not just eating the same thing, but I think I'm gonna go in with a beef taco. But I need to, my time's running out, hold on. <clears throat> yeah, so hurry up and got up today. I'm literally in my like pajamas <laughs> with a sweatshirt over it. <clears throat> I threw on sweats and I threw on a sweatshirt. Because I wanted to film this video today. I'm like, I'm tired, I'm stressed, I'm sad. It's the perfect time to do an eating challenge. I've been wanting to do it <clears throat> forever. I've been wanting Chinese food though. But I always loved good Taco Bell. So good. I still couldn't believe her message. <clears throat> oh, she didn't say anything about Allie or Jack. Just about Adri. Oh, she had just said something, was talking about it the night before. Oh, she was so mad at me when I have them. Let me tell you, telling your children
children that a loved one passed away, especially when they were literally counting down because he was supposed to come home in 14 days. Well, 14 days from when he passed away. He was supposed to come home on March 14th to see our new house and you'll help us build an island in the kitchen. They were literally counting down until he came home and he died on March 1st. That is by far the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Having this carriage was hard. God awfully hard. But telling my kids that my dad died. Always sit on turn three at the track. Always. And today when I got on Snapchat, I saw that my friend Brent, who takes pictures at the races, like every year he would get a picture of us staying at turn three, like whoever was with us at the turn, we're all waving last year. He was over there taking pictures, just me by myself. It was like the just the most sad, empty, lost feeling ever. He usually sends me, and he never sent me that picture from last year, um, which is fine because it's just me standing there by myself. Um, <clears throat> but I got on Snapchat today, and he was out on the um, golf cart on the track. It was from last night. He was on the track, and he was taking video. He was taking video of his kids in the cart, and then he turned the camera around um, to take video in front of him, and he was going by turn three. my favorite day of the year. Like the way I felt last year it was just awful. And my one friend that I only ever see at the races. Because he lives a few hours away but he comes home for the races and that's how I met him. He texted me last night and sent me a picture of his new motorcycle. So I didn't even tell him that I'm not going like In my last video, I talked about the people that I met. Um, <clears throat> and the two of them just stayed there with me last year, so I wasn't by myself. <sighs> I talked about my Burger King video last night. We went through my dad's house when he died. Um, I have his Harley shirt that he wore, like he wore to so many, so many races. So I have it. It's hanging in my closet. that he's right and I'll just keep doing what I'm doing to try and make ends meet to get me out of the situation I'm in I just I still I cannot believe her message so I've never I've never had a dream I think I did once did I once 
about my dad? I feel like I did once. Or maybe my sister did and told me I don't remember, but I would love for him to show up in my dreams. And just talk to me and give me a hug. Losing loved ones is hard, but your parents. I can't believe it's been over a year. It feels like it's been a whole lifetime since I've talked about. cannot talk about him without crying like <laughs> even when I talk about funny like funny things and funny stories oh my god you guys I don't know if I can eat anymore Jojo I thought I could just pile away 12 tacos <laughs> like nobody's business but Beef. So I have one beef, crunchy taco. <laughs> Let's do this. <clears throat> beef soft, beef crunchy, chicken soft, chicken crunchy. Let me put these back in. I my kids will eat them. I'm gonna head home anyway. This is the only reason I wanted to come to town. So, now plus I just needed to get the heck out of my house. I just. <sighs> There's a pool party tonight. Oh my gosh, last year, Allie wanted to be a cheerleader so bad and I totally missed the sign-up day. I missed it. So for the past, it was just the other day for this year and I, for like the past week, I would ask her every day, like, do you want to be a cheerleader? Do you want to be a cheerleader? And she kept saying no. She wants to be a ballerina. But she could say no, maybe next year, maybe next year. So I didn't sign her up to be a cheerleader and Adri's friend, Brielle, she's like, oh, I want her to do it. I want her to be a cheerleader with me because this will be her last time doing it for midget because she's in middle school. And I didn't want to do it. Like, I've been so excited. Like, I've been, like, tracking it since last year when I missed it. So, I didn't miss it again. She didn't want to do it. So, no, she doesn't want to be a cheerleader this year. I was a cheerleader from, like, <laughs> midget, middle school, high school, football and basketball. My girls don't want to be cheerleaders. Yeah, I want to be a ballerina. Adrian wants to play basketball. She's definitely built for it, but she just doesn't like to be out in front of people. Although she said about being cheerleader, because I'm like, you could be a cheerleader too. You guys could all do it. You'd be on the same squad as your friend. She's like, no, she's like, it would be fun, but I don't want to be out there with all those people looking at me. I said, but they are. So they're they're not not everybody out there in the stands is looking at you. I said, everybody's family is looking at their cheerleader. She's like, I know, but so I think she's just too shy. So I don't know if she would if she'll ever do sports. I wish she would. She's good at basketball too. She's just always been so shy. I was shy too. But I did cheerleading. I did gymnastics. I played softball. Like I was always shy like in like different settings, like going to hang out or walking through a restaurant. Someone is screaming somewhere. I don't know where, there's like no houses right here. 
Maybe they're over at that house. I don't know. I thought that was a business, but who knows? Now, Allie, she'll go out in the middle of Adrian, her friend, and Allie and Jack's with the library. Last oh, week or before. And they had a question. They were calling me on the phone. Like, they wouldn't even go ask the librarian. They made Allie go ask the librarian. I'm like, you guys go to the library all the time. You know the librarian. Just go ask her if you can do the tie-dye shirt thing. They went there all too shy. They had Allie do it. She's six. There's a pool party at the church for the church at the water park tonight. Last year, it had been like so hot the whole week, and then that was the first cold day that we had. So like the water was freezing, they were freezing. Now today we're having like a high of 74. It's just like over overcast and cloudy. And it's not. It's like from 7:30 to 9:30 or 7:15 to 9:15 at p.m. Which I think it said it'll still be like 72 degrees, but. What the hell was that? Mm. Adrian knows about it. She doesn't really want to go because she won't swim anyway. She didn't last year either. I didn't tell Allie and Jax because I don't know if we're going because Jay's in a mood. It's his church. I don't go to his church, so I can't just show up. I don't know anybody there. I don't know how they know if you're a member. I don't know. Then tomorrow's race day. Which I don't know if I'm going. Then Sunday, Jay said he's having band practice at our house. I said, have you been in the garage? Our garage is still set up. Like, you can't even walk through the garage. It's all tables and stuff from our garage sales. I'm like, do you remember? All the garage sale stuff is out there. He's like, oh, well, then we'll do it somewhere else. So he'll be gone all day Sunday. So I'll go to church in the morning. And then church, as you know, it's like 12 or 12.30. And they usually go to his mom's, which he went last weekend. And Allie, because he went two weekends ago for the first time in like a year. And Allie was so upset because he wouldn't take her. So I told her, I said, next week you can go. I said, we'll make sure you go. We'll have everything ready. We'll have your clothes picked out. And then that morning last Sunday, Jax woke up and he really wanted to go. And he never wants to go. I'm like, if he wants to go, let him go. Adrian doesn't like to go. So she stayed home with me. Um, so I'll probably go. Hopefully I'll take Allie and Jax. Hopefully he'll take them to church and then do his mom's to eat and then he can bring them home and then he can go to band practice for the rest of the day. And I'll be home with the kids. I don't mind being home with the kids. They're good kids. I love spending time with them. Yesterday we went on a scavenger hunt around town to the library. Oh, I talked about it in my Burger King video. I said, they're good for me. They're a handful for sure, but they're good. When I leave, he lets them do whatever they want and then they just have no respect so they don't listen to anything he says. But he doesn't make them. Like, he'll tell them to pick up their stuff and they don't and he doesn't make them. So I come home to a bunch of messes. Oh, they don't do that for me. But 
parenting's not easy and you got a parent. It's so good. I could totally drink a second one. I'm not going to. I have a pink drink, but if I had a spoon, it's all like <clears throat> too thick to drink. So what I eat, I had six tacos. I failed. I failed. This tray worked out great though. I finally got rid of Allie's car seat, so now she's right in a booster seat. Put my seat back up. Seriously, so good. Yummy. All right. I failed you, Jojo. <laughs> you guys have seen me eat. Wouldn't you have thought that I could just easily eat 12 tacos? in here. So eight, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, six of them. Have six to take home. <sighs> it's not hot out, but everything is like sweating like crazy. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's 72 degrees right now. Yeah, so it's not hot. Oh, jammies. It's so funny. I never wear the color pink because I'm not a fan of it. And yesterday I wore like a neon pink shirt because it matched my sweats. And all three of my kids yesterday told me that they liked my shirt. And today Allie's like, you never wear pink because I'm in my pink pajama shirt. I said, well, you said that last night when I got my jammies on. I said, I wore a pink shirt yesterday. I said, I don't wear it very often. I just happened to wear two pink things like on the same day. Yeah, all three kids told me they liked my shirt yesterday. If you watch my Burger King video, you'll see my shirt color. There should be the video right before this one. This is so good. Alright. I need to drink my... Is there caffeine in a fra frappe? Frappuccino? If you don't get coffee? Because I didn't get the coffee one. I got the cream base. So I don't think there's caffeine in it. I need some caffeine. There's not enough caffeine in the world for me today. That's around the water break. This isn't even cold anymore either. What the heck? <clears throat> All right, let's go home. All right, thanks for having lunch with me. If you think you can eat 12 tacos, oh, JoJo tagged people in hers. She didn't tag me. Um, so maybe I'll tag, I don't know. Who should I tag? to try and do the 12 taco challenge. Who does eating videos that can like put away some food? I don't know who I hear. 
I don't see a single body. Not a single soul. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for having lunch with me. I failed, but I had six. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm full. I could have forced down another one or two, but I don't want to overeat. Like, I'm full. And these drinks have me. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.